welcome back everyone this is wolf eye studios and i have some updates for you so this time i have added the dialogue system i have created the whole implementation for the same and i won't discuss it right now i'll show you guys the actual demonstration and then i'll explain it to you so let's just quickly see the demo right yeah so i just want you guys to listen closely okay I'll be turning the player around and around. So just listen for ear panning, using earphones and everything. And also the attenuation of the dialogue. So let's just quickly go close to the NPC and start the dialogues. It's a manual trigger. How are you, brother? How you doing? I'm all good. Kind of glad to be back. So how's stuff back at home? How are the kids? And how's Jenny? They're doing great, actually. Both of my kids are in kindergarten now. Damn. They grow up so fast, don't they? It's like I met him recently and they had just started walking. Time flies. Yeah, man. Time slips away so fast and there's nothing we can do but savor it. True words, brother. True words. I guess I should fill you in with all the details now. We're halfway through already. Um, uh, hmm. Go ahead. The stage is all yours. Well, since Gaddafi fell, weapons are like salt and pepper here. High quantity, easy to get, and almost everywhere. Self-made militias, not to mention the... Now let's quickly talk about it. So I'm sure this small snippet must have given you the proper idea of how I've implemented my dialogue system. Well, I can actually explain it using this chart that I've made. Not exactly a chart, but let's just get on with it. So what's happening is... Oh yeah, before I start that, if you guys want any type of tutorial for this, okay, any type of tutorial, basically the whole dialogue system, especially for single player games, just comment in the comment section and maybe give it a like or let me know. If I get some good engagement from this devlog, I will definitely make a tutorial for the same, okay? So we have the NPC, first of all, right, the NPC blueprint, that is your core character, it can be anything you want. The NPC is doing it, is sending its data to the game instance on begin play using an interface okay so there is an interface which is being applied by the game instance so now you use the function get game instance okay as you can see this one get game instance and you simply use the variables you want to send to the game instance in my case it is the reference to the npc itself the which is self and the character name which is again specific to my game now then this game instance is actually helping the sorry the interface is actually helping the game instance to save the references okay now in my case i have six chapters okay and all of the six chapters have different number of segments so this function which is created inside the interface but it is actually calling the uh, code inside game instance so basically using this interface i can trigger this function from anywhere okay that's what interfaces do so i can trigger this function from any level or any trigger box that i want or any trigger volume for that matter so that particular trigger event is going to set the chapter number and accordingly we will use these functions to load the data table as you can see i have this example data table it has all of the dialogues and some parameters which are again custom to mine and then this data table is going to have another function here this function right here, just a second. Yeah, this function right here. This is the actual one which is calling the dialogues. Okay, as you can see, event play dialogues again, an interface function. So you call this function, which then takes a manual loop. It is just picking the rows from data table and then just looping it again and again and again. And I have some few custom parameters. Okay, which again, I'm not covering right now because there is no point in doing that. You guys don't like the longer videos. So I'm going to make it very, very short. So yeah, that's how I'm making the dialogue system, right? So if I just close Photoshop for that matter, because it's not relevant. So that's, that's it, I guess. A very, very, very short devlog indeed. I'll be making a YouTube short as well of just the uh, dialogue part, right? Yeah, that's it. If you guys want the tutorial, just let me know. And I wanted to let you know, guys, that I have made the dialogue system and I just need to make the rest of the data tables and feed them with dialogues and it's this system is good to go of, of course i do need the facial animations which i'll record again using live link and that 
may come in another devlog i'm not sure but there's a lot of work to do so i'm not making that many devlogs and even today i was actually refactoring a lot of my code so i have improved my level blueprint i have improved my i guess interaction blueprints i have actually improved a lot of my code to make it run faster but the problem is the performance is being bogged down by meta humans so it's not noticeable but it is actually that improvement is there trust me and i have ditched the time of day system the whole sunset and sunrise loop so it's a manual push now so if you want a particular time of day you'll have to enter the value which i can show you guys very quickly so as you can see we are here right we have proper sunlight and everything so if i press this key night turns up and we get as you can see they are all turning on one by one as they used to uh, if you guys remember from the previous devlogs when i made the actual uh, day and night system right so yeah that's it i have refactored the code but i'm not showing it to you guys because again it makes no sense so yeah that's it see you guys in the next one okay and cheers take care